Welcome to my video. This Ekagen, let's talk about the limited redeemable ops from the headhunting contract from the Here I Stand banner and who I think you should redeem. The operators you can redeem are M and H, Spectre Unchained, Neural Radiance, Scotty Corrupting, Rosmatis, and W. Scotty and Neural are definitely S tier material. I recommend Scotty over Neural because you can use her in any roster, all the time, anytime. The buffs she provides are giga useful, and heck, if you want some true damage, S3 can fulfill that. If you have her, you will always bring her. She's never not useful. Neural comes in second mostly because of her one block. You have to pay attention and time skills or set up properly to avoid leaks. With her S3, the Blazing Sun, it can act as a 3 block and it's a source for her true damage. However, it only applies if she or her Blazing Sun is blocking. For instance, when she's attacking an enemy and that enemy is blocked by someone else, so not her, not her Blazing Sun, true damage is not applied. And thus, your S tiers. For the A tiers, Spectre is a great alternative if guard operators are banned. The cool thing about her is that you can place her directly in dangerous areas and not give a crap. For example, blocking the fireballs in episode 9. Provided the substitute doesn't die, she'll come back. A perfect example of why won't you just die. Stall Knights. A great pseudo guard for someone not a guard. Now Mulesis or Mucis or whatever her freaking name is. Her strength lies beyond a DP generation. Her summon can be placed on ground or range tiles and copies 90% of an operator's stats and their abilities. She and her summon can perform multiple roles, making her incredibly versatile than just your plain old average vanguard. The ability of what she can do is only limited by your brain power. For these reasons, I have her in A tier, as it will take time and experience to effectively use her. Alright, now on to the B tier. W and Rosmatis are fun. However, if you are missing the four above, go for them first. The W is certainly great in situations such as integrated strategies where you can meme and stun for days. She is overlooked due to the low attack speed, but the ability to constantly stun makes up for it. Good burst and AoE. Great synergy with someone like Ash. For Rosmatis, the wide attack range is nice, but the S3 is only effective if it blocks the enemy. Unblockable enemies or terrain lacking ground deployment means her main skill is kinda rendered useless. S2 does offer RNG stun utility. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying W and Rosmatis are shit. When compared to the ops in S and A tier, there's a difference. As for Lady H, however you say her name, well, she's not limited. All the other ops are much more difficult to obtain and they bring so much more to the table. Plus, most likely you already have her if you've done your 300 pulls. She's focused more on crowd control, essentially the caster version of Irene. Her DPS is decent and she has the ability to you know, provide meme strats and enemy interruption. Just not enough importance that I will tell you to grab her over all these other operators. All right, those are my recommendations on who to redeem. Still unsure? Well, feel free to drop a comment and ask me for suggestions, or you know what, better yet, join the Discord. Check out my socials, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, peace out.